Hi everyone, welcome to Love Sundays and back for another one of Sean's Beach Reviews. And today we're at Fistral Beach in Newquay. So let's get straight into it. Fistral Beach is perfect if you like surfing. The waves there tend not to be for beginners. If the waves are smaller on a certain day, then obviously you can still go there if you are planning on learning how to surf. There are other beaches that are safer if, you want to, if you're want to. If you an absolute novice and you're a complete beginner and you want to learn. So let's get into it. The car park is right on the beach. You can pay by the Just Park app as well, the one that I always seem to talk about on these videos. Or you can pay with cash or card as well. Food and drink wise, you're pretty much sport for choice at Fistral. You've got the stable, which is a pizza, a pizza place. There's food trucks, ice cream stands, everything that you could need. There are toilets at Fistro as well. Um, I didn't actually get them on the video. I've taken my word for it that there are toilets at Fistro. The reason why I can get the footage is because because it's 2020 and everyone's queuing at the moment because obviously they can only let certain people in at a certain time. There was such a queue for the toilet that I couldn't justify queuing up just to just to get a video of it. So there are lifeguards on the beach as well. Um, and rightfully so, because like I said, it's not the easiest place to learn to surf. If you're not on a stand-up surfboard, you need to be between the red and yellow flags. Can't stress that enough. They represent where the rip currents aren't, and the lifeguards patrol those areas as well. The beach does have disabled access. The car park leads straight onto the beach. You do have to go down quite a big sort of bank of sand to get down there, so it's not the it's not the most accessible for for wheelchairs or anything like that, but it can be done. Top things to do at Fistral Beach, you've got surfing, which is whenever whenever anyone thinks of Nuki and thinks of surfing, they think of Fistral Beach. So obviously that's the main sort of pool for everyone to go there. There's also lots of places to eat and drink there as well. And obviously you've got Nuki Town as well, where, where there's lots of, lots of things to do. I need to find out actually, because I didn't find this out, whether dogs are welcome on the beach. Fantastic news for you dog lovers and all you dog owners. Dogs are welcome on Fistral Beach all year round. With, but from what I can see, no restrictions. So, fantastic. I'm just gonna do the beach review graph that I always seem to do. It's not a graph, it's a list. Screenshot it, take it away with you, whatever you wanna do. That should give you all the information that you need. If you are planning on visiting Fistral as well, here's the postcode. Other than that, my thoughts on the beach. Fantastic beach, very, very busy when I was down there, like insanely busy. If you're not great with crowds or anything like that, there are quieter beaches that you can visit as well. That's about it from me. Hopefully you like this video. If you did and you want to see more of these, obviously like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Cheers and gone.